Hi. Um, well, it's the day of Survivor, season four, Diamonds and Spades, and I've got a cast, and I've also got some predictions. So, I'm just gonna go through everyone in the cast. So first off, Rebecca. Um, Rebecca, I'm really excited to see play again, because the first time I really don't think that she kind of knew how to play. Um, but she's... I, I think she instinctively is such a smart player that this time she'll do really, really well. Um, I can't really see a scenario where Rebecca doesn't make the merge, at least. Um, and she could potentially be a winner. For now, I'll put her at sixth place. Um, now Meg. Meg is a wild card for me, because Meg, Meg's got the interesting perspective of having filmed last year, so she has seen how the game happens behind the scenes. So I think in that way she'll be a very smart player. Um, as for how she'll do in the game, I don't know, I could see it going both ways. I could see her being a pre-merge boot, um, because I'm not sure how, how um, physically she'll do in the challenges, and that might put a target on her back if she doesn't do well physically. Um, yeah, Meg, I'll either put as a late pre-merge boot or an early merge boot, because I think the target's going to be on her around then, and I'm not sure if she'll be able to, be able to navigate out of it. Um, so we got interrupted because some fake survivors are trying to eavesdrop on me because they went to the common area that I told them to go to. <laughs> um, Chelsea. I think that Chelsea is going to play such a loyal game, and I think we saw like a little bit of that last time, but we really didn't get to see her play. So this time is going to be really interesting because I think she I think she won't be the first boot, <laughs> first of all. Um, and I think that once she solidifies herself in her tribe, she'll be known as like one of the most loyal people there. And so I think it'd be very smart for someone to align themselves with Chelsea because I think once you align with Chelsea, she won't break that. Um, um, I'm not sure if that means that she would win. If she makes it to the end, then that could be a winning game because... Um, people value loyalty a lot in this game. I've seen in the past with like Jillian winning and stuff. Um, but I don't know if that's a game that will take her to the end. Um, I think she could be a late pre-merge boot, is what I'm gonna say. Um, now we've got Grace. Grace, I think, um, has the potential to be the first boot or to be the winner. Um, Grace is... I think Grace is just going to have a really good time. She'll play a game similar to Logan of last time. I think she'll be the wild card this time, and she won't really have um, any concrete alliances. Um, but on the other hand, I could totally see her like running the show. Um, I think Grace is a potential winner. Um, I think she makes the merge, definitely. I think she... I'll say that she's ninth place. That's where I'll put her. Um, Emily Dornick. So Dvornik had a little sabbatical last time where she got to see behind the scenes of Survivor. And I think between that and watching regular Survivor a lot in this past year, um, she's really started to understand the game. And so I think she has the potential to do a lot better than she has in the past. Um, I, I think she understands strategy. I think potentially she, she could be in a leadership role in her tribe. I think, I think she might be in a leadership role in her tribe. Um, but I also know that there's a part of her that will always just want everyone to have a good time. And so I'm not totally convinced that if it gets hard deciding who's going to go home, that she will fight too hard to stay there um, if it gets to that point. Because I think she'd rather have everyone have a good time than stay in the game still. Um, I'm going to put her as um, early after the merge getting out. Um, so now we've got Jamie. Jamie is coming back after her second place finish in Survivor Lake House. Um, and I don't think that Jamie really has a big target on her back, even though she played a really good game in Lake House. Um, and I think that's going to go to her advantage. I think her being one of the older ones will also play to her advantage. I think people will look up to her. I think maybe she'll find herself in a leadership role without wanting to be in one, which could be interesting. Sorry, cell phones. Um, and I don't think she'll win again. I mean, I don't think she'll win. I don't think she'll get to the very end, but I think she'll make it very far. I, I would put her at fifth or sixth place. Um, Katie Sizzik. Katie is one of those people who, if she lets herself get immersed in the game, will do very well because she's very strong socially. And I don't, I, I'm not sure if strategically she'll do very well, but socially she will do amazing, and that could carry her very far. Um, on the other hand, she's so nice 
that I could see her giving up her spot if someone else really wants to stay there. And I think that's what might happen. So I'll put her as a pre-merge boot. Um, Sierra. Sierra's very smart. Sierra has a chance to win. Um, I think Sierra's willing to be cutthroat also. And so Sierra, I could see becoming the villain of the game. Um, I could see her betraying a lot of people, um, including Diego. Bold prediction right there. Um, <laughs> I don't think she'll win, though. Um, I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna say she makes it to the very end and doesn't win the jury vote. Um, Lily. Now, you know, I love Lily, and I think Lily could do very well, but I think Lily really thinks that she won't do well, and I, that's such a self-fulfilling prophecy in Survivor, and so I'm gonna put Lily as my first boot pick. <laughs> I, I think she, I, I don't know, I think she, um, if she makes it past the first boot and she gets into an alliance, she could do really well, and if she makes it to the merge, She's set, because I think that no one's going to think of her as a threat, and she's still very smart, so she will be a threat. <laughs> um, but I don't know if she's going to make it there. She just needs to make it to the merge. Um, but for now, Lily, first boot pick. <laughs> um, uh, now, Maddie. Maddie Mojalari. Um Maddie is an under-the-radar player, and I think she'll make it to the merge again this time. She got out last time because of a tiebreaker, if I remember correctly. Um, and I think she was on track to make it very far, and I think she'll make it very far this time. I don't think she'll win. Maybe she'll win. No, I don't think she'll win. I don't know. Um, final seven. Um, Alana. Um, this game is a history of only returning players usually win, because it's, like, hard to get it your first time around. But if any new player is gonna win, it's gonna be Alana. Um, she might be my, my winner pick. We'll see. Um... I think she's going to do very well. I think she at least makes the merge. And I think she wins, maybe. Um, Christina. Christina, I think, will play very well socially. I think she might end up being a leader that is targeted around the merge. I think that's where she'll be. And I, I think she could be the merge boot. She could be one of the first few after the merge. Um, Diego. Diego's similar to Sierra in that I think he's willing to do whatever in this game. I more see Sierra is inclined to turn on Diego than Diego will turn on Sierra. I think Sierra might be Diego's downfall. I don't know why I think that. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think Diego's gonna win. Um, but I think he's gonna play... You know what I think? I think Diego's gonna play very hard, very fast. And either that will make him one of the first few out because he's just playing so hard, or he'll get to the merge and then everyone will turn on him, like, right away because he's, like, the king, kingpin or whatever. Um, Sam Van Vliet, I think, will... Um, he'll be our challenge guy this year. There's always, like, someone who, like, puts so much stock in the challenges and gives 110%, and that carries them through the pre-merge, um, but they don't really play strategically. Um, and I think that will be Sam. I think he'll make it to the merge and then be taken out as a challenge threat shortly after. Um, Eric. Eric won the first game, and then the last two, there's been a target on his back. But I think if there's any time for Eric to win a second time, it's this one. Eric potentially could be our winner. Um, I could really see that happening, because I think, at this point, the threat level is kind of lower on him now, if that makes sense. Um, I think he'll make the merge, definitely. I will say that Eric will do better than his last two times, which is making the merge and getting past the first vote. He'll at least get to that point. Um, I could see him in the endgame, though. Um, Logan. <laughs> I don't think Logan will make it as far as he did last time, because he, he played the wild card game last time, and somehow that got him to the end. I, um, it was partially luck, partially um, diverting the target. Um, I think he might try to play the wild card game again, and if he does that, that will be trouble for him, because I think people will catch on to that earlier and get him out earlier. Um, if he changes up his game, I could see him going a lot farther, but um, I'm not so sure about Logan this time. Um, Adam. Adam didn't really get to play last time. We didn't get to see the shady side of Adam, and I think we're going to see the shady side of Adam. I think he might be, um, oh, other than the person I'm about to talk about, he might be the biggest villain. <laughs> um, he, he'll, I think he'll make it the merge this time. I think he'll play really subtly, but also, like, um, deliver crazy confessionals, and, um, I think he'll be taken out by someone once they realize 
how low-key crafty he's playing the game. Um, Nick Regan will be the biggest villain of the game. Oh my gosh, he, um, the biggest worry about Nick is that he'll play too hard too fast, because I think that's in, it's his tendency and it's what he's known for, um, and that could mean an early boot. Um, I really hope not, because I really want to see Nick make it to the merge, because I think he, he could be the person flipping between alliances and just causing blindside after blindside. He will eventually get taken out. Nick's not going to win. Um, just because it's in his nature to play that way. And, um, yeah, but if he makes it to the merge, he'll, he'll be great to watch. Um, and then Zach Gordon. Zach is another person who I could see, like, falling on his own torch for someone else to stay in the game. And I hope he doesn't do that, because I think Zach socially could play very well. Um, but... That's what I think he's going to do, and so I'm going to say pre-merge for Zach. Um, that's everyone, so I'm probably wrong about most of these, but I'm excited to play. It's 10.42 right now. We've got less than 20 minutes to go. Let's do it. <laughs>